guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinsey. I'm a 24 year old lifestyle vlogger and podcast host living in Dallas, Texas. If you guys are new here, I do a lot of lifestyle vlogs, product faves, book recs, recipes, all that stuff. So if you guys want, I would love for you guys to stick around and subscribe. But today's video, we are doing my first like what I eat in a day video in a very long time. I'm not a dietitian. I am not an expert. I think I'm a chef. And unfortunately, I'm like not really, you know? This video is more just like putting together recipes that I like to go to in the fall. So I'm sharing my favorite fall oatmeal, my favorite fall salad that I make from home, and then a healthier version of the Italian sausage kale tortellini soup that I used to make all the time. And then whatever else I eat throughout the day. Of course, it changes every single day. This video is kind of more so just like random fall recipes that I really like. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Check out the I Love You So Much merch. I'll have it linked down below. We have a few items left. And yeah, subscribe if you guys are new. Um, we're gonna get started with the video. Okay, for breakfast, we're gonna do oatmeal. So I have oats. Almond butter, vanilla, a banana, cinnamon. Oh, I need almond milk. Honestly, I change how I make oatmeal like every time. And I normally will add in like chia seeds and things like that, but my chia seeds have like gone missing, so. Cinnamon. Oh, that's a lot. Just a little bit of vanilla. Being a little bit dramatic, if you ask me. You may be thinking, Kinsey, why not just put it in the microwave? No, I'm telling you, it is so much better this way. And also, because there's a little fall concoction in here, it makes your house smell really good. Oatmeal is just always better on the stove. Yes, I'm lazy a lot of the time and put it in the microwave, but it's always worth it, okay? It's almost done. Oh, by the way, this morning I did have a coffee, just black coffee with my favorite nut pods. Hold on, let me show you. I die for nut pods. Um, I like this pumpkin spice one. I don't think it's like the craziest pumpkin. It's not overwhelming if you're not into that sort of thing, but it puts me in the fall spirit, which is, you know, all I'm trying to do at every point of my life. Okay, and here we go. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, it smells incredible. I'm gonna add a banana. Did you know you're supposed to open bananas from this way? Like it feels so wrong. Okay, so for breakfast, this is what I'm having. I already had coffee hours ago before I started filming this video, but I wish I had chia seeds because it would look cuter and it's good for you. It smells incredible, it's very filling, and it's super easy to make. Okay, I know I already had coffee this morning, and I try to keep it to like one cup a day. Um, that's not gonna happen today though, because comment below if I'm crazy. I've recently gone back to drinking hot coffee. Hot coffee does not give me energy at all. It's like the routine of it and the comfort of it that I love, but it doesn't give me energy. And I drank it at 5 a.m. That was five hours ago, so I think I'm actually gonna make some iced coffee, don't judge me. I go through my phases with coffee. I either drink it every single day or I can't even think about drinking it. It sounds disgusting to me and I just do matcha, so we're back on it, I guess. Oh my God, I got this, I forgot. Oh, guys, wait. So Blue Bottle is like my favorite coffee shop in the entire world and I got this when I was in New York. But I think that this is gonna make me like really happy today. It's all about the little things, guys. And honestly, this is really small, so I don't really feel bad about having two coffees already. Okay, well, if you guys are familiar with Blue Bottle, like this has to be a 12 ounce. This is really just making me so happy today. Okay, so I prefer the Starbucks iced coffees. I, these are definitely my favorite. If you guys have a good coffee, iced coffee rack down below, let me know, because I'm sure there's like a lot of like unnecessary added sugars and stuff. I don't know, just like a good iced coffee option from home, let me know. Wow. Looks so good. And then the nut pods I already talked to you guys about. Um, love this. Beautiful. Time right now and I was trying to make quinoa for my salad well first off found the chia seeds okay now I can't find my quinoa cooking quinoa is like my literal least favorite thing to do and I was already getting ready to do it but oh guess it's not happening I'm making a salad I would add meat to this but I don't have any right now I did find this ready rice which is like not the best to do 
but it's the most similar to quinoa and I feel like if I need to I can eat it it's the most similar to quinoa oh hi <laughs> Hi, dude! I think he thinks these are like treats for him or something. We're just gonna make it happen. You know, we're gonna make it work. You wanna say hi? Hi! Guys, you remember when he was just the size of his head? Lovey fits. Oh, I did meal prep this stuff for the salad. So it's sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and beets. I'm gonna just microwave them. I roasted them yesterday, but it is what it is. Putting this in there for 90 seconds. I'm just gonna heat these up after in like a bowl or something. I honestly should just roast them again, but. I just don't have time for that. Lunch is my least favorite meal of the day because it's typically when I'm like work, obviously it is when I'm working. And then I'm like in my flow and I have to stop for lunch. Like I just don't really, I don't love that for me. Oh, we've got some walnuts. But we also have some feta. This actually, yeah, this is great. Love this. I forgot to let the bag vent because I don't do these ever anymore. Also, these are like seasoned and like these actually look incredible. I normally drink two hydro jugs a day, which is a gallon of water. That's my goal. I don't always kill it, but I try. So I have a plate of kale. Yep, that looks good. I'm a little bit afraid of this rice. It's going to have to do. Ooh, it's hot. Add in some walnuts. Just a light dressing nothing better than like a warm fall salad though I will say they're so good some feta feta is my fave to add to salads like obviously this would have been better with quinoa all right this actually looks really good we have beets sweet potatoes Brussels sprouts the random rice kale feta walnuts yeah it's just a little harvest bowl very very good I love making things like these this is also really easy to prep and it doesn't take long at all All right guys, it is only 4.30, but I woke up really early this morning, so I'm already ready for dinner. I made my soup. I'll show you guys how I prepped it yesterday. thing of Tupperware that I own. My mom got it for me, I have no idea where it's from, but just like, there's nothing like a reliable Tupperware. I don't know, it honestly holds a lot. So I'm actually gonna put this on the stove top. Italian sausage tortellini kale soup. There's just nothing like it. This soup on its own is very good, okay? It's definitely healthier, comparatively, whatever. But the Italian sausage soup, like, oh my God, I die for it, it is so good. So this is like the healthy alternative the healthier alternative. The other one is so good. Like I will be making that one all the time. I won't be making this one, but I was just like trying to see, you know? I mean, it was still really good. Like this is bomb, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so this is my dinner. Honestly, it's 4.30. I would not be shocked if I have another dinner. It's really good. It's great for meal prep. Um, I just live for soups, especially like a tortellini soup in the fall. Okay, it's 8 p.m. I'm hungry again. This happens a lot when I have salad for lunch and I don't add like chicken or something because I ate my dinner literally at like 4.30. Like that's just a second lunch. So is this a second dinner or was that a second lunch? I don't know. I'm not hungry enough for an entire meal, but I'm going to make a little bit of this. So it's just a cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's with some turkey meatballs, and then I'll just put some marinara sauce on. This is not my most beautiful meal yet, but um, just something, you know, 
I honestly was just hungry, so here we are. That is it for my what I eat in a day fall video. If you guys want more of these, let me know. It changes every single day, and I really like trying out like new recipes and things like that. So if you guys have any more kind of food-related requests, let me know. But I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Have my most energy in the mornings which is when we do the toast and yeah. that's when I'm required to have energy. By the time I get home, it's like work from bed the rest of the day.